Welcome to episode 67 of Tools in the Hall. It's been quite a while since we've had a Tools in the Hall video because at the end of every calendar year, every retail business tries to sell off their inventory. That's why you see things like inventory reduction sales and end of year sales for many retailers because they have to pay inventory tax for what they have in stock. So the lower they can make that stock, the, low, the less they'll have to pay in tax, and we're no different. So there weren't many things ordered toward the end of the year, so I did not have much to show you. We kind of coasted through with some empty shelves on the truck, but now it's the beginning of the new year. We're restocking, and this is the first of three restock orders that I've been placing in the last few weeks. I try to stagger my ordering to coincide with my suppliers billing cycles so that we don't have to face a huge tool bill with them all at once. So we stagger how we order them. So this is the first of a few restock orders that have come in. So there's a lot of stuff here. So sit down and relax. And then if you're watching this on Sunday morning, enjoy your breakfast or your brunch and enjoy my dulcet tones as I go over each and every one of the tools that we have on our restock order. First though, I have some fun news to share with you. And that is we now have our first private label product, Coil Tools Nitrile Disposable Gloves. These are the orange diamond grip gloves, eight mil thick. They last a long time. You can reuse them. I know guys get multiple uses out of these and they're nice and strong. This is a, one of the sample gloves here so that they don't tear in the cuff when you pull them on and look how hard I can pull on that where nothing's, nothing's tearing and it's not like the thinner, cheaper gloves where you pull them on and you tear the cuff, take it off, throw it away, put on another pair. You're just burning through money when you can't even get the glove on in the first place because it's not built to that standard. These gloves are tough, they're thick, yet they still leave enough feeling through the nitrile that you get a good handle on what you're doing. You can tighten and loosen bolt heads and, and, and nuts without fearing of tearing the fingertips on these. Love these gloves. They're the ones that I've done videos on in the past, and you can look back and see how I've been keeping you up to date on the glove business. I know that those aren't the most popular videos I've ever made, but I figured I'd put these in here now so that you get a chance to see them. So the cool thing about these is we're moving a lot of volume in gloves, and high volume for us, because we're a low volume retailer, is, is a lot. So what we're doing is we're expanding the offering. Not only are we selling to some customers that we have contracted agreements with, but now we're opening them up for online sales too. I updated our web store so that it's now just selling one item and that's these gloves. If you would like to order a case quantity of gloves, I am selling them in a case of a thousand gloves. You'll get 10 boxes like this. Each box contains 100 gloves. Go online, coiltools.com slash shop. Order a case for yourself today or two or three for your shop, however many you need. Shipping is included in the price. So order them online or send me an email at sales at coiltools.com. We sell medium, large, extra large, and double extra large. Case quantities only because that's the only way we can really afford to do free shipping on them. And you'll get yourself a real high quality glove at prices that are competitive with what you'll find on Amazon. Certainly, they're far less than what you'll pay at your local auto parts store or even on your local tool truck. I know one of my customers who was uh, in between my visits, he needed gloves. So he goes to his local auto parts store and he buys a box of gloves. He said that they're for the same price that I sold him his for. So he said, so I got a pretty good deal. And I looked at the box of gloves he bought they were the same glove, eight mil thick orange diamond pattern gloves, but he paid the same price and got half the gloves because he bought a box of 50 and he thought he bought a box of 100. He didn't look at the box. And I said, you know, you got half the gloves, dude. And uh, he goes, oh man, he says, I didn't realize that. So be careful of what it is that you're buying. Look uh, to see in the product description and on the box, how many gloves? A box of 100 gloves, eight mil thick diamond grip pattern, coiltools.com slash shop. You'll see all the pricing for case quantities there. And we're exploring opening an Amazon marketplace too to sell them on Amazon and open it up to an even larger audience. So please order the gloves. I would love to be able to ship them out to you. You'll save yourself some money, not only in the cost of the gloves, but because 
your consumption will be reduced because you won't be burning through these like you would if they were a thinner glove. You'll save money that way too. So price savings, no matter how you look at it, on really the highest quality glove I could find. Next up, these are the collapsible magnet trays from Easy Red. You've probably seen these branded from Matco and other brands. They're just a small square tray with a magnetic bottom to hold things like nuts, bolts, and loose metallic parts. Not the strongest magnets in the world, so it's not like you can put them in there and hang it upside down and not expect things to fall out, but the magnets are strong enough so that you don't lose your small parts when you're taking them off the car and putting them on these guys. This, they're good to go on the, on the supports on your lift or on your cart so that you can always keep your small parts at the ready. And they collapse down. You can see on the back they have a shot of what they look like in their collapsed and in their extended configuration. Cheap, easy, handy, pretty colors. Going back on the shelf. We also have a very popular punch and chisel set from Astro. This is their 16 piece set that contains a number of different styles of punch and different chisels and also a gauge for sharpening your chisels. 16 of the most common automotive and general metal working designs, taper punches, roll pin punches, cold chisels, center punch, and of course the gauge. And the price on these is, is remarkably low for a quality item. You can spend way more on punches and chisels from companies like Mayhew, for example, and Snap-on and some other brands, but for less than $50, that set there has been a very good seller because for the price, why not? And for all the ones I've sold, I've never had anyone tell me that they broke and they last a long time. So uh, just don't beat them up too bad and you'll get a good long life out of them and you'll save yourself a ton of money over the other brands. This is the de facto in butane soldering kits. This is the one from Power Probe. This has the soldering iron, a selection of tips, a roll of solder, um, a wet pad that you can use to clean the tip with and for the money it's a great buy because it's very reliable and I have seen other butane soldering irons that the tips clog or the igniters stop working these are very reliable I don't think I've ever had a problem with one of them if they are problematic they have a one-year warranty I'm gonna swap it out but for all your standard soldering needs in automotive wiring, this is the kit that'll serve you very, very well. I was helping a customer out with a snap-on warranty, and this is a pair of parrot nose pliers the, under the Blue Point brand that I got for him. Um, he, he's a great guy who owns a small brake and alignment shop, and they use that style a lot for the work that they do uh, on front end. So he was he's stoked that I'm able to help him out with that. All I do is I just call Snap on his behalf, set up the return for him, send them his old one, and they send me the new one, and they get this back to the customer. And I'd like to try to do that where I can to help people out, especially really good, loyal customers. I'm his only tool guy. He has told other tool trucks that he does not need them because he's been perfectly happy with the service I provide. That means everything. I love customers like him because... They're what butters my bread, and I, I want to make sure that I treat him as well as I possibly can, obviously, because his business means so much. So if I can help him out with a snap-on warranty or you know do a repair on a broken air tool or whatever, I'm happy to do it because it's what keeps my business rolling because I help his business continue to roll. When you're looking at stubby wrenches, consider the ones from Sunex. This is their SAE. 11 piece stubby combination wrench set. They're very nice, full polish wrenches. It goes from 3 8 of an inch all the way up to one inch. Not every brand has a stubby wrench that goes to one inch. I believe Snap-on does, a couple of others. I, I know um, I've mentioned this set in the past and guys have left in the comments brands they know that also have a one inch, but not many. And I'm glad to see that they do because it makes it one of the more popular sets. You can't beat the price, I think these are like 80 bucks or something for the, for the set. 
maybe 80, 85, right around there somewhere. And the nylon roll-up pouch that it comes in lays beautifully in your toolbox or tool cart, or you can take them out and put them in wrench holders if you want. Lifetime warranty, great quality, and they're stubby, so it's not like going to be breaking them a lot. I've never seen a broken one. But if they do break, no problem, you're covered. And for the cost savings, why not? You know, I had a, a customer, rather a, a, a viewer, <laughs> leave me a comment about how he thought it was interesting that I said something about uh, a snap-on flyer. This is an old video I, I put up a couple of years ago. And uh, I said something about their flyer. And he says, oh, it's pretty interesting coming from a guy who doesn't sell any tools made in the USA. Well, I do sell a lot of tools made in the USA, including Mayhew, Lang, Klein. Uh, K-Tool has a lot of USA-made tools. Channel Lock has USA-made tools. So, I mean, I do sell a lot of brands that are made in the US. SunX is not one of them. They do most of the manufacturing in China. And uh, this one is made, th this set here is made in India. In a global economy, you buy your stuff from the best, least expensive place you can get. And if something's going to cost more, if that means you're buying a higher quality item, go right ahead. But when it comes to something like a stubby wrench set, you're not gaining a ton in quality based on how much you pay because manufacturing standards are pretty high for this stuff, especially if it's branded by a company like SunX. You can trust that it's pretty good because they've got a big reputation. They're a big player in the tool business. So they're not going to do anything to sell themselves short by selling you short. So go with price on something like this where it makes all the sense in the world. If there is a particular case where you get what you pay for, then you may want to spend more. But when it comes to a stubby rent set, save yourself the money and s spend hundreds of dollars less than, say, Snap-on or some of the other big brands and go with the SunX ones. Uh, you'll be just as happy, if not happier, because you save yourself a pile of dough. Also from Sonex, here's the 38-piece bit and driver set. This has a mini ratchet with a hex receiver in it. It's magnetized to hold all the bits in there and a bunch of these stubby bits with an extension. It comes in an anodized red aluminum case and it has a number of different bits that you're going to find for all kinds of general purpose and specialty applications, including... The standard slotted Phillips screwdriver bits, Torx bits, hex bits, tamper proof Torx bits, and a couple of specialty bits they're going to find in here. Everything's covered with lifetime warranty. So very handy as a, as a small kit that you can tuck away in your car or truck, keep it in your tool cart, buy one for home. They're cheap enough. You can buy one at home for your vehicle and in the shop, and you're, and you're only out you know, a few bucks. I think the, the set retails for about $50. So... For the money, it's it's rather good. The only things that I've ever seen break on these are the tamper roof Torx bits, and that's to be expected because those always break because there's a hole in them. There's not a lot of material around there. But the ratchets are good quality. The extensions last a good long time, and the case is a really nice case. It looks good. It's functional, and it's low profile, so you don't need to put it in the deep drawer in your box or cart, and it takes up a small amount of space, so you can tuck it away somewhere and keep it handy. Lyle has a spring-loaded center punch that I'm a big fan of. You can adjust the tension using the thumb turn on the top there. And all you do is you press this down on your workpiece and then the spring-loaded punch part goes up into the shaft and pops back out to leave an indentation where you want to leave your mark or start your drilling hole. I think they're like $26 or $27. Lifetime warranty on the whole thing, including the tip. And I can get replacement tips for you, no problem. Indispensable little tool. And... You can spend way more money to get the larger handled brass ones, but honestly, I've seen these last longer than those, and the other ones don't usually have much of a warranty, but Lyle puts a lifetime warranty on their stuff, and I'm glad they do, because I love the brand for a lot of reasons, including the quality of their tools and their pricing is always very affordable. And they manufacture for a lot of other tool brands too, because they'll they'll rebrand tools for, for other companies. So chances are, if you don't, uh, own something that says Lyle on it. It may have been made by Lyle already. You'll see other tool trucks like Cordwell and Maco especially sell Lyle branded tools and also Lyle manufactured tools for other companies. When you need a headlamp, consider looking at the options from Coast. You have heard me go on about these guys probably ad nauseum because I'm such a big fan. Their quality is extremely high. Reliability, very high. Pricing, 
very good, especially when you compare it to Streamlight. A comparable Coast product costs considerably less than a comparable Streamlight product, sometimes by as much as half. Lifetime warranty, I can swap it out for you on the truck. Unlike Streamlight, I gotta send it into Streamlight and they'll service it and send it back so you're without it for a few weeks. I can do these instantly and they have a couple of patents. They have a focusing beam on not just their headlamps but also their flashlights. And they have dual power, which means you can recharge this with the rechargeable cell that it comes with or use alkaline batteries and pop them in and continue to use it if you're in between charges, for example. Great lights, love the quality, built to last. No, I, I don't get a whole lot of, of warranty claims on these. And if I do, they're so simple to take care of that I don't even mess with other brands that people want to buy a Streamlight product from me. I'm happy to sell it because I am a Streamlight dealer. But when it comes to putting stuff on the truck and keeping it on the shelves, it's coast all the way. Because when people compare the features, functions, and price between a Coast and a Streamlight product, they will always choose the Coast unless they have a particular affection for the Streamlight brand. And most people don't. So if they ask me about getting them a Streamlight product or they ask me about Coast, I give them the information I just gave you and that pretty much makes their decision for them. And here's a flashlight from Coast. This is their XP11R light. It's a 2600 lumen flashlight form factor, same features as the ones on the headlamp that I just told you about. And these compete very well also with Streamlight's products and they're costing about half. So big fan of Coast. If you're in the market for lights, consider that brand. I think you'll find that there's a lot of value there that you don't necessarily have with other brands. Are they more expensive than, it, than, than stuff that's cheaper? Yeah, they are, but they're built really well. All aluminum housings, you can, they can take a drop. They're dust and water resistant to certain degrees and nothing's easier in the warranty world than taking care of a Coast product for you. If you have a power probe or even a multi-tool, this will work with a lot of them, but this is by power probe made to work with power probe diagnostic tools. This is their lead set. And it comes with some extensions, some adapters, a new, here's our extensions here, adapters on the side here, alligator clip, and two piercing probes. Very handy accessory to keep with your power probe. I know some guys are intimidated by power probes because electricity can be confusing and diagno diagnosing electrical problems is something that can give you fits. But with the right tools that will really ease your learning curve and your burden. And hopefully that means that you get really good at it. And when you specialize in something like that, you will be able to punch your ticket in this industry and you'll be in demand. You'll have a skill set that a lot of other guys don't develop. And if you're good at electrical diagnostics, you can carve out a whole career in just that if you ever wanted to. But at least gets you on your way to being that A-level technician in your ability to do holistic diagnoses on vehicles and account for every system and pinpoint problems faster because you're going to get that much better at troubleshooting. And tools like this are going to help you do that. This is a giant three-quarter drive, 33-millimeter, extra deep socket from Gray Pneumatic. This is going to a technician who works on transit buses and they use these for their wheels. He was on back order for a while. He asked me to order it for him ooh, a couple of months ago, I think, and it just came in. So I'm glad to see that it just arrived. It's a little pricey, but it does have a lifetime warranty. This one retails for 120 bucks. But when it's the socket that you need, it's the socket to get. And you're gonna pay for it. Yeah, he's fine with that because it's gonna make his job that much easier and time is money in this business. The faster you can get stuff done, the more money you get paid and something like that is gonna help you earn some money. Back to SunX, they have probably the best master bit set I think I've ever seen. This is their 208 piece set that's got all kinds of different general use and specialty bits in them as a whole set of nut setters as well as two inch long bits and 
the short, stubby bits that all go in either a hex driver or, um, a, or a hex adapter for your ratchet, or just use a quarter inch socket. If you want to drive them that way, you certainly can. Has all your standard Phillips slotted hex torques, tamper proof torques bits as well as a lot of specialty bits some clutch bits are in there some security bits are in there has an extension and it is just about the handiest set you buy a set like this and something like a, a little quarter inch you know battery operated driver and you'll feel like a, a small god because there's nothing you won't be able to do short of having to bust out your bigger tools you can handle a lot with a set like this and, and a driver if you wanted to go electric or if you want to keep it manual there's plenty of options to manually drive these things including just like a like a hex screwdriver style driver they'll fit right in the shaft of a of a hex quarter inch shaft so great kit i sell a ton of these glad to start getting them back on the truck the customer asked me if i could get him a bolt cutter style battery terminal crimp tool and i said well you have a choice i can get you the one from klein which costs a lot of money, or I can get you the one from SG Tool, which costs about half of the Klein ones. Just, yeah, let's do that. And these are a beefy set of bolt cutter style crimpers. A ton of leverage on these. Overall length is 26 inches. This will handle wire gauge from eight down to quadruple aught, and it has a rotating die in there that you can choose your size with. They put a lifetime warranty on them, but you shouldn't have to take advantage of that because there's really nothing to break on these. They're built heavy duty, they're solid, they got some heft to them, so they throw some good material at these and they should service you for a long time when it comes to your battery terminal crimping needs. He does a lot of them, which is why it's worth it for him. Most automotive technicians or diesel technicians don't tend to own these, or sometimes the shops will buy these and provide them to their technicians. But this particular technician wanted his own pair because he works on big trucks and he needs these a lot. So he's going to get them next week. One of my customers asked me the other day if uh, I could recommend a good tap and die set for him. And I said, luckily, I've got one on the way that you can look at when it comes in. And that's the 114 piece set from GearWrench. You have seen these on many tool haul videos before. I did an entire video dedicated to a, to a tutorial, to a tutorial, just on these a little while back, so you can go back and watch that if you want. And it's a great set for a number of reasons, including that it has the nicest tap wrenches I've ever seen. They're ratcheting, they're wonderful. You can palm the center, keep everything nice and plumb and level when you're starting your work. And they have a pass-through design so the tap and die collets fit up into the wrench for a solid fit. There isn't much slop in the mechanism at all and it beats the old style where you have the little thumb turns on the ends of the ears that um, that hold the um, the taps in the, in the middle of the wrench. Those are sloppy, they always loosen up on you, you have to go hand over hand with those. You don't have to do that with this ratcheting design. There is one thing about this that I wish gear wrench would change, and that is the ratcheting mechanism has a switch on it to switch between forward and reverse. I wish they'd have a center locking position so that you could work the wrench back and forth manually, but they don't, so you have to switch flip a little switch each time. It's an inconvenience, it's not a showstopper. It's something to be aware of so that it helps you understand just what it's going to be like to use these every day. They're retailing for well over $100 less than the Irwin Hansen set, which is well up over 550 bucks now. I think these are now $430 or something like that. Lifetime warranty on everything in the kit. And you can buy them for even less if you're getting them online somewhere or through a brick and mortar retailer. Just be aware of buying anything off of Amazon. You don't necessarily know who the reseller is on the Amazon marketplace. So check that and do a little bit of digging because um, you could be walking into a bait and switch situation. I don't recommend buying stuff off of Amazon where it's critical to you. I recommend going to a trusted retailer because they will stand behind it unlike an Amazon retailer who won't. So um, yeah, you'll spend a little bit more, but if you need the service after the sale, 
you have to go to a trusted retailer. And that's you know part of the service that I provide as a tool truck that I will stand behind everything that I sell you, including everything in this kit, all the swap out broken stuff. Like, of course, you're going to break the 1024 tap. Everybody does. Um, and uh, in the quarter 20 tap, those always break. So, uh, you know, I'll those give you new ones. You just give me the broken ones, and, and we are square. It makes it easy, hassle-free for you, and you know it's going to be stood behind by your retailer. Back to Lyle, they make oil filter wrenches for a lot of different companies. This is the same one that they were branding for Mac for many years. It's just a regular adjustable band style oil filter wrench. And we're restocking on these because I don't think we have any right now. So they run a bunch of different sizes. So we've gotten a bunch of these to put back on the truck because we haven't, <laughs> I haven't sold an oil filter wrench and I don't know. I, I didn't even know when I ran out of them, but this is the first time I've reordered them in a long time. So it's, it's been a while. More from Gear Wrench. This is their 3 8 four piece chrome extension set has one and a half inch three inch six inch and 12 inch long extensions lifetime warranty on every piece in here price is right on these uh, i think it's about 60 bucks if i'm not mistaken i could be wrong about that but it's not i'm not far off for the money it's hard to beat the gear wrench quality because it's the same premium quality you'll find in other brands fraction of the prices of the tool truck brands and like i talked about earlier you can get gear wrench stuff up from other retailers and save yourself even more money than you would off of my tool truck pricing but um you know again you want someone to stand behind it and you want the ease and convenience and you want to support the little guy you know an independent tool truck's a great way to go and such is the case with something like these uh look for them you know on on your independent tool trucks even even some of your your franchise trucks i, I think now most if not all franchise trucks are selling gear wrench stuff because a lot of the other tool truck guys are realizing, or that they haven't already, that in order to compete favorably, they have to start selling gear wrench. And Milwaukee, I've, I know that, well, Cornwell's power tool line has always been Milwaukee. Matco started selling Milwaukee as a legitimate distributor for them uh, over a year ago now. And I've heard people tell me on the QT that their Snap-on guys are also stocking Milwaukee stuff on their trucks. Those guys, I think, are doing it out of bounds. I don't know that Snap-on has authorized that to their franchisees yet so what it shows is guys are feeling the pinch they have to compete and the only way to do that is to get their hands on some milwaukee stuff so they usually sign up for accounts with distributors like i have and they buy the same stuff in the same place that i do and it just shows that really we're all selling the same stuff very similar pricing um except if you're looking at the mac or snap-on or mac branded items they tend to be more expensive but the playing field is getting a little more level in that regard. So really your best option is to look for somebody who services you correctly, who will show up on the regular and help you out and is good to deal with and is always looking to shoot you straight. Go with people like that. There's, there's lots of them in the world, but there's also a lot who aren't. So put your filters on when you're choosing who you do business with and hold your people to account and make sure that they're doing you the best service that they can because that's the name of the game. If you have a tool guy who is not in it for the service aspect of things, ditch them. Go with somebody else. Just, you have lots of tool buying options. You don't have to be stuck with somebody who's not looking out for your best interests and making sure that he strikes up a good relationship with you for the long term. These Titan non-aerosol sprayers are just like the Sure Shot sprayers. They're a little bit less money. The rebuild kits for the Sure Shots also fit these, so all the parts are the same. You can get a refiller cap that has a set of ears on it so you don't need a wrench and you can get replacement nozzles for these if you want to. There is a modification you can do to these to increase the flow rate through the nozzle. Uh, just so you know what it is, I don't necessarily recommend it because it's altering the, the factory provided parts on here, but you can remove this nozzle on the front. There's a brass piece in there, pop that out, drill that hole bigger, and now you'll have a much higher throughput. Um, Again, I'm not condoning that. I'm just saying that can be done. Do it at your own. <laughs> Do it on your own. And uh, I, it's not like you're, you're wrecking anything, but just know that, you know, if you have a problem with what you've done, it's not covered under warranty. Just, you know. But rebuild kits for this are not that expensive. And now they come in different colors. This one's the red one, obviously. And they have green, orange, blue, black. I think that's it. Five colors. More from Gear Wrench. This is their six piece mini file set. It has different profiles on the files to fit a number of applications. 
flat half round, round, triangle, square, a knife style, and it comes in a nylon storage pouch with a clear plastic front so that you can see which style is there. Lays nice and flat in your toolbox or cart and it's small enough it doesn't take up much space. Life, uh, oh, I almost said lifetime warranty. Does it? Hold on. I don't think these are covered with lifetime warranty. These are not covered under a lifetime warranty, so just know that. Uh, GearWrench considers them consumable, and as such, they are not covered under a lifetime warranty. But they'll last you a long time if you don't beat them up. Don't use them as pry bars. I know someone who did. And said, so I broke it. Is it covered? I'm like, no. <laughs> there, there is no there's no acceptable use for a file that would cause it to snap in half like that. Um, so he learned that the hard way. Treat them right. They're, they're, they're not the strongest tool in the world. They're not heavy duty. Uh, they're made for light filing applications. Use them as they're intended and it'll last you a good long time. And they're not that expensive that if you have to replace them, I can't buy them individually for you either. Unfortunately, we got to replace the entire set. So just know that there's no open stock for these so I can't get individuals. They're not covered under a lifetime warranty, but they are high quality. Treat them right. Don't abuse them and they'll last you a long time. Looks like it's mostly Lyle and Gearwrench today. This is from Lyle, a pair of disconnect pliers. Very handy for lots of different applications. Squeeze the handles here and the two halves of these jaws open to push apart a connector with that's on the line that is attached to. These are used for removing hoses, but I do know guys that we use these to remove air brake lines by inserting a, or, or putting on a, a pair of vice grips. They'll clamp that to the airline, stick this between the vice grips and the connector, press it and it pops off that connector, makes it much faster and you don't have to spend a stupid amount of money on those specialty airline pliers. Those I think are 20 bucks, you know, and the specialty pliers are like 60 plus dollars each and a lot of guys kind of regret buying them when they know there's an easier, faster way to do that same job. Also from Lyle's a razor blade scraper. This is the long handled one and stores blades in the handle. Not much to say about it, except that it's a high quality item. Fairly inexpensive. I think it's 25 bucks or something like that. No, I don't know, 25, 40? I don't remember. I'm trying to sound cool off the top of my head. I don't remember how much this costs. It's not a lot. And it's great for Windshield stickers, reaching into tighter spaces if you have to scrape a uh, residue off of something. Great all around general purpose razor scraper. More gear wrench. This is their 13 piece metric deep chrome socket set. This is their quarter inch drive. So it goes from five or four, four millimeter to 19 millimeter. Lifetime warranty on everything in here. Comes in a nice plastic rail. I say everything I mean except for the plastic rail. All the sockets have lifetime warranties. I'm a big fan of Gear Wrench's sockets. Good fitment. High quality. The they're, they offload stresses on the corners of your workpiece. So you're applying pressure on the flats of the socket like it's supposed to. And they're just as good as anyone else's sockets and you're spending so much less on these than you would on, on, the, on the Cornwell truck, the Snap-on truck, all the very expensive chrome tools. But GearWrench's pricing has always been very good and it continues to be way better than some of the other tool truck brands out there. So do your shopping when you're, when you're looking at pricing and know that you're not sacrificing anything in quality when it comes to GearWrench. They're a top tier brand. They're premium grade. And the pricing just is better than everyone else's because they move a higher volume than a lot of the other brands do and they don't have to make as much money on each piece. Also from GearWrench is a quarter drive ratchet. This little fella is so handy to get in the tight spots. This is their 90 tooth offering. They came out with these 90 tooth ratchets a few years back. They've been great sellers. They used to have an 84 tooth ratchet and these took the place of that. Also on their ratcheting box end combination wrenches, those are also 90 tooth now. 
but they also have a 120 tooth offering. Very difficult to tell the difference between 90 and 120 teeth when you're using them. The 120s tend to be a bit smoother, but I don't think too many people really express too much of a preference. No one ever looked at the 90 tooth ratchet and says, ah, I wish it was 120 teeth. They're very comparable in how they feel and how they work. High quality stuff, full polish. They also have rubber comfort grip handles option, handle options with some of the ratchets. So you have a choice on those. Rebuilding them is very simple. Lifetime warranty and everything, including the guts, the handles, you name it, it's covered. Um, on their flex and locking ones, the heads are all covered, the pivots are covered. So no matter what happens, we can take care of it for you. They also have this terrific two-piece ratchet kit. This is a 3 8 kit that's got a long-handled 3 8 and a short 3 8 It's very similar in size to this quarter-inch one, but it has a 3 8 drive. How handy is that? Also 90 tooth, if I didn't mention that already. Same lifetime warranty as the other one that I mentioned, as well as all their hardline products. I'm a big fan of GearWrench for that reason. They are truly hassle-free. Now, one thing that does disappoint me is I know people have said that they have gone to GearWrench directly in an effort to get warranties fulfilled, and I have heard people say that they're not that good at it. I wish I could tell you something that would make you feel better, but unfortunately, I can't. I know that it is one of the shortcomings of the company. In fact, GearWrench themselves is owned by a company called Apex Tool Group, and it's Apex that handles the warranty claims, and I, I do know that they've given some people some frustrations in how long it takes to get a warranty fulfilled. Sometimes they have to call multiple times, and it, it can be a pain. I wish they were better at it, honestly, which is why it's a good argument to go with a reseller like myself, because it's not a problem for me. I don't deal with them directly. I deal with a distributor, and the distributor's hassle-free. I just send them stuff, they credit my account, I give you something new, and I take care of all my stuff on the back end. So it's hassle-free to you. So if you want to stay hassle-free with GearWrench, stick with a good retailer, go through him or her, and they'll take care of you that way. It's much easier than going direct. K-Tool International is a private label brand that's owned by my biggest distributor, and they make these, uh, what are these? These are the metric double box set universal spline flex head wrenches you have seen. This same set under many different brands. Mountain, K-Tool, this one. Back in the day, Monster was branding these same ones. They are branding this same tool set for Matco and Cornwell. They're made by one company in China and they're branded for all the companies that want to sell them. That's called private labeling. It's what we do with our gloves. It's what many companies do for lots of tools that they don't have the manufacturing capacity for. And that includes Snap-on, Maco, Cornwell, Mac, you name it. There's lots of private labeling that goes on, not just in the tool business, but in any industry. You'll find private lab labeling to be prevalent because not every company is going to tool up a factory to manufacture something when somebody else already makes something that's perfectly good that they'll sell to them with their brand on it. GearWrench also has these terrific Gearbox branded wrenches. These are the same size on either end. One's a fixed box end, one's a ratcheting box end, flex head ratcheting end to it. And this is the metric set that runs 10 to 19 millimeter. Diesel guys love this set because unlike that K-Tool set I just showed you, these are built to a stronger standard. So they're a little heavier duty. Everything's gonna break. I mean, your smaller eight, 10, 12 millimeter ratcheting wrenches are always gonna break. So know that going in, regardless of what brand you buy. But these tend to be stronger. They tend to last a little bit longer. I'll still replace them under a lifetime warranty if they break, so don't worry about that. But um, the, the diesel guys love these because they're such long handles. They're easy to get into tight spots and work on some of the bigger stuff. And you use the fixed box end to break something loose and then you can run it on or off with the rationing box end. Makes life easy. And right now these are on sale. I forget what the price is, but for a couple hundred bucks, you get yourself a really high quality set of wrenches that will bail you out of a lot of high leverage applications that other wrenches would not be long enough for. I am a huge fan of the GearWrench Digital Torque Wrenches because for about half the price 
of the Snap-on and Mako torque wrenches, you can buy yourself a gear wrench digital torque wrench. 120 XP mechanism in the head makes it super smooth. These light up, they beep, they vibrate when you hit your target torque, and they have angle. So it does all that for about half the price of the Mako and the Snap-on torque wrenches. One year warranty on these, like every other brand of torque wrench, I've never seen a torque wrench with a longer warranty than one year, and we can handle the servicing in or out of warranty on any brand torque wrench that you have. We have an arrangement with a company called Power, no, sorry, with Angle Repair out of West Virginia. Angle Repair handles torque wrench repairs for almost every other retailer in the business, including Matco, Cornwell, Mac. I think Snap-on does their own torque wrench repairs if I'm not mistaken, but they're an all, but Angle Repair is an authorized repair center for lots of brands. Go to their website if you need work done uh, on your torque wrench. Very friendly folks, small company, easy to deal with, very fast, accurate. I've never had a comeback for them, love them. Anglerepair.com is their website. Check them out if you need any repair work done, calibration, certification of any brand torque wrench. This is the first third of the V-Stock orders that I've put in, so there's going to be plenty more tool haul videos to come. We also have videos on air tool repairs. We're gonna do some gun reviews soon because we've got some new guns that'll be coming in in the next few weeks that I want to show you. And go back and check our flyer drop videos for the first of the year that goes through the highlights in our very large, I call it a flyer, a lot of guys call it a catalog because it is about 118, 120 pages worth of stuff that's on sale right now. That's good through the end of March. So you can check that video out and go back and check out our glove video on when we took our big shipment of gloves just a couple of weeks ago. So do me a favor and click down here now to subscribe so you don't miss any of it. Thank you so much for watching and remember, use a tool, don't be one.